that's what I call black coffee strong you know hey bro what's up man come back to my channel August uh, 369 August 3369 sorry um, channel apa aja ada all in one uh, you know your favorite uh, YouTube channel is free vast resource uh, to learn English particularly in building your vocabulary this time I'll be showing you uh, phrases and vocabulary through people's vlog that focusing paranormal stuffs the student of English who like watching or happens uh, to be doing paranormal investigation might find these phrases and vocabulary useful to help them improve their English as well. So, if you are a fan of creepy spooky videos and learning paranormal vocabulary at the same time, you can do the right channel. The following uh, phrases and vocabulary are frequently used uh, and commonly used in ghost explorations. Okay, let's get started. First phrase we're going uh, to look at is a freak out. I'm really freak out right now. I'm really freak out right now. Freak out means a sudden feel, extremely surprised, uh, upset, scared, or angry, or confused. In this case, he was scared of something that what we just experienced, as mentioned by Chris and his friend Joy. When they were uh, doing exploration in Daniel Houghton, the haunted mansion in America, and check it out the following clips. You okay, man? Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm really freaked out right now. That's just too much. second phrase is occult rituals occult rituals in this third floor ballroom occult ritual means knowledge of uh, supernatural or ancient magical forces or in Bahasa ritual goib as mentioned by a group of ghost hunter in their investigation at Ohio most haunted mansion that haunted uh, prospect places and check out the following clips and it was abandoned and people were breaking in of occult rituals on this third floor ballroom which included animal sacrifice from what they say so it has caused some suspicious paranormal activity that people have picked up on phrases number three is disembodied voice Disembodied voice means uh, sounds coming from uh, someone who cannot be seen. Uh, usually it's coming in whisper or growling, as mentioned by uh, Joy and Rob in their exploration at the abandoned Dupree Garden, Florida. Check out the following clips. I gotta tell you guys, I'm super, super, super excited about the Frank Lloyd Wright house. If we get to do that again, that's where we got the name Bobby from originally, and now it comes through like on the on the uh, app all the time and disembodied voices. It's crazy. So I think if we get to do the Frank Lloyd Wright house, that's where it all started for us. That's where the ghost hunting started, man. Next crisis is um, is that where spirit attached to us? Attached to us means something stick to us, 
stay uh, with us without being invited to do so as said by joy and rob in the same exploration at the abandoned dupree garden florida check out the following clips where spirit initially takes <laughs> I don't know. I said you said dad or dead. So do we have anything to worry about going to the Frank Lloyd Wright house and is that where a spirit attached to us? And is this Is this place haunted? Number four, another phrase uh, is uh, we're gonna wrap this up in a few. Wrap up means to uh, complete uh, something uh, in a satisfactory way, as said by Joe and Rob in the same exploration uh, at the abandoned Dupree Garden, Florida. Uh, check out uh, the following clips. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up in a few. Um, camera shuts off at 30 minutes. What the freak is walking around? Is yeah, that picking up anything? Alright, so I'm going to try the Necrophonic app again. Again, another phrase is, is her eyes were bulging out of her head. Bulging out means to uh, swell or to curve outward. Um, by pressure from inside, as mentioned by a wake witch in a haunted house. Check out his following clips. The picture was was in the hallway, okay. and he was only five when we moved in here. He was screaming and yelling that night, and I came running into his room, and he said there was a woman that was floating over the bed, and she was like head half white, and she, her eyes were bulging out of uh, her head, is what he said. Number six is it's like a bad omen. Omens means a sign that something is going to happen in the future, as said by Joy at an abandoned haunted demon church. Check out these following clips. Dead bird right there, man. That's creepy. It's like a bad omen. Another phrase for number seven is a gifted psychic medium. Psychic means uh, a person who has a power that cannot be explained scientifically uh, for uh, having uh, ability to see into the future. As mentioned by uh, Omer, referred to his friend Kelsey. Uh, during vlogging at the Forest Lawn Memorial in uh, Glendale, California. Now check out these following clips. I normally don't bring much paranormal gear when exploring, but I thought it'd be very interesting bringing my friend Kelsey, who by the way is a gifted psychic medium, along for this investigation. Another phrase for number eight is uh, it scared the crap out of us. It scared the craps out of all of us. Scared the crap out means uh, scared to death. The word crap itself means uh, something worthless or unwanted that doesn't deserve serious attention. As mentioned by Omar, uh, said uh, in mausoleum where Michael Jackson is buried in California. And check out the following clips. Just to give you an idea of how quiet it was, and then that thing just started talking and scared the crap out of all of us. Number nine. 
Number ten, uh, vocabulary for number ten is actually possessed by evil demon red face. Possessed means uh, being controlled by an evil spirit, as said by a ghost hunter Colin and his parents when they visited the house of chaos. Check out the following clips. The following is from the Paranormal Files, and this time Colin and his parents visited the House of Chaos, which is actually possessed by the evil demon Redface. Okay, much bro. Uh, that's all for now. I hope this content is useful for you. If this is of interest to you, Please hit the like, share, subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you won't miss any of my weekly uploads. Thank you for watching. Bye.